And and mind you, Henry Kissinger, he the one who said, if you can control a people fool, mm-hmm. you can control their minds. Yeah, that's pretty. Anybody true, that think like that, you know, hey, I'm cool. No, yeah, you're right. You're <laughs> I'm right. cool on your ideology, man. <laughs> he, um, you know, it's so funny that you mention that because I got a, I got a lot of questions. What do you think about? Well, okay, before I get into that, because my mind is all over the place, mm-hmm. right? Because you opening up a lot of thoughts for mm-hmm. me. The music, though, yeah. in the same way that we look at color. Same thing for music, because music it? is a vibrational frequency. Music is a tune, and music is used to tune your organs. It's either going to bring you out of hormonal balance with yourself, or it's going to bring you in more into this, this circadian ryth- rhythm with yourself. Uh, for instance, you know, most of the rappers, uh, we ain't going to even talk about the words. The words mm-hmm. are something totally different that's totally slaughtering and killing our community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and it's molding and shaping the youth and the minds of our children. And they're living out, you know, these rappers' fantasies because these rappers is not really They're even not doing, really living that. Yeah, they not. Yeah. I mean, I know that personally because I deal personally with a lot of them. Yeah, I got, <laughs> I got some that's, uh, that I'm cool with. I know what they really yeah. like. like. But yeah. but these young these youngins growing up, they believe that they are. They do. And they're replicating that and throwing their lives I away. I believed it. You, yeah, I, I ain't gonna lie, I did too. Until, until I used to carry razors in my mouth mm-hmm. based off of stuff that I was seeing happening over in New York. Pop, watching above the rim, yeah. all of that stuff, bro. That man, that I got. I mean, I went and got pox tat, the cross on my arm, and Look all at of my that. Face, man. Yeah, this, this come from Lil Wayne. <clears throat> That's I seen crazy. The tat bro. on his face. I'm like, man, that'll look good on me. Yeah. He got mob on his chest. I'm yeah. young. Gang bang. I got mob on my chest. So, you know, we most definitely are influenced uh, by the music and those who are speakers of the music. Because real, real artists, whether we like it or not, they're prophets. Yeah. You know, and you you tend to cleave on to spiritual people. They don't realize that they are using their spiritual size and their gifts for for what you would call unrighteousness or wickedness, but they are. So we still feel that 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 prophet and priest in them. So so we gonna cleave on to it, and we don't realize that you if you start if you constantly listen to music over and over and over again, these things get subbedded in the subconscious mind. That's the reason how you break a record. Yeah. You spend two hundred fifty, three hundred thousand on a record to get that record repetitively played mm-hmm. over and over again, no matter if it's whack or not. For you can get it in the subconscious minds of the people, for they can start singing it. You would be, you know, I come from a Hebrew Israelite background, right? Mm-hmm. It's a prime example. Uh, last last uh, season around Christmas, we don't celebrate no holidays. Okay, you know what I'm saying. We celebrate the holy days of okay. the Torah. So uh, this is around Hanukkah, what they call Hanukkah. And uh, I'm in a grocery store, and uh, I heard uh, "Have a holly jolly Christmas." Yeah, and I'm trying to rebuke it out my head, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's stuck in my head. I'm driving. No, I'm with my children. My mm-hmm. children, they know they don't do Christmas. They think Christmas bad. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because they know the history out, out of it. Yeah, yeah. So I'm driving and I'm humming "Have a holly jolly Christmas." <laughs> so my son, like Abba. He speak Hebrew. I mean, father, Abba, you singing a bad song. You singing a bad song. But I didn't mean to sing the bad it's song. It's just a part of what it is that you seen that was being programmed it, into you. Programmed in me. Subconsciously. Subconsciously, yeah. not consciously. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So if that's happening to me with a Christmas curl song, what you think happening to bust a nigga head? That's why I fucked your bitch. Yeah. That's in your head. Now yeah. you starting to act out these things. That's for the words. Now, as far as the actual instrumental the music, the vibrations, the 808. The 808 is known to trap you, trap your soul. The 808 is this deep bass. And the vibrational frequency of the 808, it keeps you locked into your root and your sacral chakra. Mm. And it's so addictive because it's sexually stimulating to the body. So people be listening to the music and they say it's not necessarily the lyrics, it's the beat. You are sexually stimulated by the beat you listening to. And that's why you put it on replay because you got to keep hearing it. Yeah, and you, yeah, don't, yeah. you don't realize you're getting a release of oxytocin and dopamine from this and it's sexually stimulating you. You think you just like the beat because it sounds good. No, it sounds good to your whole entire body. Yeah. And so, yes, music, it can be used as a weapon. They have something called sound weapons, DARPA. DARPA out of the I USA creates that. something. Yeah. It's called the energy sound weapon. And they used it over there in Afghanistan where they were Turn on a certain frequency and turn it up as loud as possible. It makes your ear bleed. Mm. It, it gets you very confused. It have you foaming up the mouth and it can bust your heart. You can Google really? it right now. It's called a direct energy sound wave weapon. And it sits on top of a truck. And whenever they want to disperse a crowd, because they use the same thing in Ferguson. I'm from St. Louis. I'm yeah, from yeah, Ferguson. Yeah. They use that on us in Ferguson during the riots. I mean, you would point that mug towards a crowd and turn it up. And it will it, it gives you this type of frequency that your ears are not used to hearing. Because remember, we only hear within a certain range and yeah. see within a certain range. 
change. Once you go outside of that field, it's very, very distortive to the body. Mm -hmm. You see that? And man, yes, these things will literally, they will kill you through sound. It's funny because even, um, you know, I study everything business related. And I was looking at the way in which they're preventing people over in certain areas and urban communities, especially over in California, San Francisco, where they're having a lot of crime and stuff like that. And they're saying that the Walgreens, the pharmacies, the Home Depots and everything, now what they're doing is, as far as trying to deter crime is they're not necessarily hiring more security guards. They're playing a certain type of music exactly. in the parking lot. It psychologically will change you. Common music, you want, you want to, if you want to disarm a, a, a brother that's aggressive and, and that's out for blood and war at your, your business establishment. Mm -hmm. Paint your whole business blue. Mm. Paint it blue to calm them down. Paint it yellow for they can retain memory because you're going to be speaking to them. Yep. Make sure when they come in the store, you got soothing music. And then they notice, too, gentle hand touches, a touch on the shoulder, and asking them their name. This completely will disarm you. Hey, what's your name, brother? And then every time you speak to them, use their name. Make it personal. That makes you feel like you're a part of the... Man, I got a book that talk about this. It talk about colors. It talk about how your logo look. It talk about hand-touching engagements, how to shake a man's hand to drive a sale. Yeah. And it was a car salesman that made this book up. And I started looking and researching the word, uh, researching all the words he was using. This stuff is real. And the FBI uses this to turn people into snitches. They use the same, they use the same tactic <laughs> to make you tell everything yeah no i mean we use it i used to be one of the ways i, I got my bones mm -hmm. which gave me my a lot of confidence in life very early in life uh, back in the 2008 crisis when i had went completely broke mm -hmm. moved back in my mom's basement and everything so i had to take a 100 percent sales job yeah and so you know i've learned all of the tricks of overcoming objection how to yeah. communicate effectively where to touch them did you to do, touch yeah him. you did the shoulder touch because yeah, you could touch too early and it'd be offensive yeah right and they even teach you about couples yep. they teach you about couples how to ap appeal to the woman yep. but never directly talk to her Correct. because the man is the one who's really going to make the decision on the sale but She's the woman dri she drives the sale yep. she gonna say yeah yep. or nay yeah yep, yep. Yeah, we learned all about some that. deep stuff, man. When you this shows you that everything is psychology, everything is spiritual, though. But we don't everything. read. Yeah, we don't. We don't read. Yeah, and 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 I think that I don't I don't know if you can change that, right? I but don't so, know. but we we changing it now, and I, I think social media is is one of the 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 biggest positive and biggest negative things well, that yeah, happen to us be a, because social media is now a virtual book. It is. And it's amazing, you know. It's a but it's also filled with misinformation. Facts. Um, not necessarily as far as, and when I say misinformation, I'm not talking about the factual side, right? Because, you know, a fact is a fact. Yeah. Right? But I'm starting to see how people communicate. And when people say my truth, that's weird to me. Yeah, it's weird to me too. I, you would never hear me say my truth. I don't because, understand that. Yeah, because that just means my perception. Well, your, right. your perception can be based off your cultural aspects, and I don't agree with your cultural aspects. And right. it don't line up with nothing in nature, so how is that truthful? You know what I'm saying? So we got to be careful using them type of words, and I noticed that that is widely accepted on the Internet now. Ab absolutely. And that's why I don't say nothing that I can't prove factually with clinical trials. If we can't back it up with experiments, if we can't back it up with the sheets, with the data, then I don't even talk about it. Them the things that I, I sit in my meditation room and I govern and battle with them myself.